it's Sarah here from Gamer Lovers. I'm doing a little haul. It's kind of like a Comic Con haul, but there's also stuff that we bought in Dublin as well in it. So it's a mixture. So we weren't planning on going Comic Con this year, uh, spring edition of Comic Con, because there wasn't really anyone there we wanted to get autographs for majorly. Um, but my uncle Shane really wanted to go to get Doug Jones's autograph. So we decided that we would go with him. He asked, uh, did we want to go? So we're like, you know what? Might as well make a day out of it. We can get a bit of merch. Make a day out of it kind of thing. We were just going to go in and do a bit of shopping on our own. Like we we're going to go Comic Con with him and then do shopping on our own. But he wanted to walk around Dublin with us for a bit. So we did. So we didn't vlog it. So I'll just explain the day before I do the haul. There is pictures so there will be a slideshow. Guys. Yeah. Um, I'll just explain what we did. We got up, went into Dublin. We drove in because there was no trains towards there so we drove in we parked not too far away went in went to get the autograph the queue was closed so we went to a q and a with doug jones which was really really good very interesting figured out he actually plays coaches in fallen skies one of my favorite shows and um, didn't realize he also plays billy in hocus pocus and there's all of his other iconic roles like pan's labyrinth uh shape of shape of water mm -hmm. um Obviously, Star Trek, obviously, Hellboy. What's the wristband, guys? <laughs> There's the wristband. I took mine off because it was suffocating my wrist. Um, But yeah, we did that. Went and got his autograph. Went and got a bit of pizza. Thanks, my Uncle Shane, for that. He got me a. Thank you, Shane, if you're watching. <laughs> we got a pizza for me and Graham to share because it was very filling. And then he got me a cappuccino and Graham a cup of tea. So it was very nice. Thank you very much. And then uh, we went, had a look around the merch, got lost in the merch, panic attack in the merch. There was a tarantula, live tarantula. I freaked out. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, then we pretty much headed into town, had a look around, went and got a bit of fish food because that's the main reason I went. Also got a water bottle for the rabbits because we need two for them because they drink like there's no tomorrow. And yeah, went in Forbidden Planet, had a look around, Terror Records, uh, first edition bookshop and got a hot chocolate on the way home and yeah so that was our day other than that we just came home played a bit of Fortnite. my legs were in bits i did what did i say Ten thousand steps Ten thousand four hundred steps uh you can see it. well no it says ten thousand five hundred now because i've been at home but ten thousand four hundred steps i had done from this morning which is a oh. lot compared to what i normally do Anyways, we're going to get into but this. We're past that two minutes. is the day that we did. Because there was no vlog. So I wanted to give you a bit of an insight. So, there's one thing that we got that isn't in this. We got my nephew a poster. Fortnite. Uh, it says, uh, hop on the battle bus. And it has a picture of the battle bus from Fortnite. So, we got him that. Uh, I also got cupcakes. But these two, Graham and Kyle, did not want to wait. They were nice guys. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah will show you hers. Uh, I ate a bit of mine, but I mostly was just trying the icing and the fondant that's on top. So, we got them from, from Brazaro Cupcakes. They got vanilla ones with vanilla icing, and Kyle got like a little Spider-Man on top of his, and Graham got a little Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, Dragon Ball. So, so I got a chocolate cupcake with chocolate icing and chocolate fondant, and it's a little Harry Potter hat. They did a very big Harry Potter team on it this year, hence the tarantula. There's also a spider and some elves. And the uh, snake. A snake and some elves. Even not a spider and some elves. A snake and some elves. Um, right, time to get into the bags, guys. Okay, so not from Comic-Con. Jeff Cakes, I'm only joking. <laughs> They're on top of the things I am going to show you, though. We went to Forbidden Planet, and there was a little sale... <laughs> you, can you can technically say, guys, that we got it at uh, Comic Con because Forbidden Planet had to stall. Well, yeah, but they didn't have this sale on. So yeah. It's not going to be called the Comic Con Hall. It's just a rent. It's just a hall of stuff that we bought. But there is these little adorbs on sale for two euro. Hmm. As you can see there. So I got Sven from Frozen. I got Anna. From Frozen, and you can't go with a Frozen collection without getting Elsa. They didn't have uh, Olaf. They don't do Olaf. That's the collection yeah. you get there. So I got the complete Adorbs collection. Yeah. So I got them, two euro each. Not bad. So I did. So that's them three there. Try find some space for them. I love these little Adorbs. I have a couple of them, 
for yeah. three. I have a Daryl Dixon Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Texas Chainsaw Massacre and is it Bell or Beast? Beast. Beast. I couldn't remember which one I picked up. Or which one you got me. Yeah. And um, another thing there which was the posters that we got. It was three for a fiver. And obviously Kyle got the Fortnite one. So me and Graham got these really awesome looking ones. So it looks like this print in the background, like what would you call it? A newspaper, newspaper print. print yeah. But it's like all worn and all. Now it's just a basic print. This has Assassin's Creed on it. Looks as you pretty can see. Awesome. So that's pretty cool. So it's like just this normal print. But I think that's pretty cool. I like the way it looks like the picture makes it look more worn out. Yeah. Oh, it's like a dictionary in the background. See the way here it says Assassin? And then it gives you the meaning of Assassin. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's pretty cool. And then I got this one, which is Nightmare Before Christmas. And it is Jack Skeleton holding a little pumpkin with the moon and the famous mountain. Hmm. Kind of wish Zero was in it, but anyway, there's a pumpkin. And then this one gives you the definition for Jack Skeleton. Also called Union Jack. Oh, well, that's to do with the flags. I don't know. But anyway, I got that. Now, probably won't be hung out on my wall. Probably be hung up on the inside of my wardrobe. Mostly we'll because find a place for it. I have ideas for what my what what's going on my walls. Yeah. But anyway, so I got we might get this. a frame for it. Yeah, if I can get a frame for it, I'll put it like here beside my bed. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really cool, and I've been looking at these when we've gone to Comic Con before, but we just never got them. So I thought they were awesome. Then Graham got himself. It's in the bag. Is it? No, in the these bags. All right. The tape bags. Yeah. Okay. Well, Graham also got himself this really awesome... Well, bought by Sarah, because we usually buy weekly presents yeah. for each other, guys. So, so Graham Sarah had got... got me a Paddy Day t-shirt, a little notebook, uh, carrot seeds, which are planted there for my rabbits, and what was the last thing? Chocolate or something. Yeah, something like that. So, it was a tenner worth. Yeah. Basically. So... I got Graham this really cool Fortnite wallet. Yeah, which I'm going to transfer after we get food because we're getting food soon. Well, that's what I got a text message about, I think. It's on its way, is it? I have no clue. I just got a text message. I didn't open it. But this, I'm trying to show the inside, but it won't open. Oh. Haha. <laughs> got it open. So this is what it looks like on the inside. So, like, you could put, like, coins in there. You have plenty of space for your cards and plenty of space for all your cash. And it's leather as well and there's this really cool fortnite design there was like four different ones the other three were very childish well they're they're like the one you have but you so you need more of a grown-up looking yeah one. you keep going for that like bright colored ones yeah. so he was looking for a more grown-up looking one and this that's this like, is my previous one here compare that's the one that i have now like that's not too childish in a sense as you can see though guys see the little bottom Oh, yeah, it's, it's, a, a, it's gone pretty a much. fuzzy. I mean, you can't even see Deadpool on the back anymore. Yeah. In fairness. No, but, like, you can tell the, the difference, like. That's not as childish, but it's still very bright and out there. This is more grown up with a subtle design on it. Mm. Very subtle. And then, where's my up? I got myself a little dog tag. <laughs> well, it was a decent length of a chain as well. Yeah. And... It's a Fortnite one. But it's just a really cool that hollow. Color. It's very hollow. Yeah, there was nice. different ones. There was like gold, silver, all that. And it's like, oh, which one will I get? And Graham's like, go for the pink one. It's actually hollow. Yeah, kind of a design. Cool. But even the chain, like the chain is really thick. Normally you get them on these really thin yokes. Yeah. That break, like, I have a necklace here actually. With the type of chain on top of it. And it's stuck. Like, that type of chain is what you normally get them on. So, like, compare them two chains. You get a decent chain on this one. Mm. Which I really like. So, I'm hoping this might be a bit more sturdier to wear for work. Because I do like wearing a necklace. So, I do. So, I got that, Graham. Got something else put in with the other bags. Mm. Actually, which needs to pass me because I'm going to leave them to the end. Oh, my other yoke. Got your fishing on. Sorry if the camera's moving, guys. Mm. I also got this fella. <laughs> Hello. A little Jack Skeleton. He only cost me... Actually, I didn't tell you the price of any of these. He only cost me a fiver. Yeah, so guys, just to let you know, these two. doors were two. That wallet was ten. was ten. This was five? Yeah. Necklace was five. 
And the posters, as I said, were three for a fiver. Yeah. He was a fiver. And I just saw him because he was like this in the basket. You couldn't really get to the basket on the stand where the posters were. It was quite, so I just kind of saw black and, and white. Hunters. And well, it wasn't too packed. It was well, actually grand. People were standing around one area. Yeah, there was just like these group of girls that would just wouldn't move. And I, Graham was like, oh, look in the plushies. And I was like, I can't. There's people standing there and I can't get to them. But anyway, I saw him. He, I just saw his big head. And I picked him up. I was like, oh, it's a little Jack. And I don't have Jack. I have Zero. His little doggy with the pumpkin nose. So, got myself a little Jack. Would have been, as Graham said, it would have been cute if there had been a little Sally. But I didn't get a chance to look in. And you couldn't really reach over. It was like this kind of reaching. Like, you literally had to lean over the table. And it was just way too awkward leaning over that table. But I got him. Which I love. Then this is Graham's little bag. So, was this three quid? Wasn't it? Three, yeah. Got himself a little Fortnite pickaxe keychain for his new key that he has. Yeah, I can only see this part here. Where's the. No, I'm just showing that. Oh, right, it's yeah. like a little keychain. So it just hooks on. And then you have the pickaxe, which is actually proper metal. Yeah. Because we were doing this to ourselves in the car and the way. And we were saying, if you got hit hard enough with that. In the temple. In the temple or in the eye or whatever, that would, would hurt. hurt. Yeah. That would injure you, like for, and you could actually sharpen that if you wanted, because yeah. that's only thin enough as it is. That you, if you sharpen that just a little bit more, that would be a weapon, <laughs> basically. <laughs> so he got himself that, which I think is pretty cute, pretty cute. And then, as I said, we'd been in Forbidden Planet. There was a bit of a sale, so he got himself a little adorbs as well. This is a little Iron Fist adorbs. I thought I got it wrong there for a sec. It's crap. It's a little iron fist adorbs, which is, as you as it says itself, it's adorable. It's mm. so cute. Like, you can see the original price. These are meant to be 10 euro. Mm. And they're only two. You can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong. But the biggest deal of the day that he got on Forbidden Planet was this two-pack pop figure set of Captain Marvel versus Ching Lee. That was Street Fighter. In his, it's from Marvel versus Capcom Infinity. And you got it for a fiver. Now these, does it have the original price yet? These are originally 25 quid, guys. And like the other, like there's a few other sets here that I would, would have loved to have gotten. There's a Rocket versus Mega Max. Uh -huh. Or Mega Man. X. Do you want to show the back? And then there's a Gamora one there that I would have loved to have gotten as well. These mm -hmm. are not cheap. You get these in GameStop and they're quite dear. Yeah, they're like 20, as I said, they're about 20, 25 quid for a double pack. They're really expensive. And for him to get a two pack for a fiver is really, really good. Right, so the last thing. There was a stand with mystery bags. You know we like our mystery bags. The bag was already opened, by the way, because we didn't realise we were going to have enough for a haul. But anyway, we like our mystery bags. And for 20 euro, you could either get three t-shirts or two hoodies. Now, you know us, we have a lot of t-shirts. Mm -hmm. We don't need any more. But hoodies, why am I having a new couple of new hoodies because we mostly only have basic ones that you get in the likes of pennies oh. so we did the hoodie one and we got them in our own, in our size two for 20 i thought you know you get one decent one one crappy one we got two really good ones so the first one graham pulled out which i'm gonna hold on to is a captain america hoodie so i haven't actually taken it out of this plastic i took it out of the other plastic but it's just oh i like it this basic over the head really baggy <laughs> god when they say that's a big size we went for the biggest size because in all honesty this over a pair of leggings is so cozy it's like what i'm wearing today like super comfy cozy i can tell you and this is just a giant captain america one big pocket nice and baggy can't go wrong navy i will be wearing this in future vlogs <laughs> So I shall. And then Graham's one. Um, the reason why I'm taking Captain America is because I'm more of a Marvel fan than a DC fan. Graham got himself a Batman versus Superman. Or Batman and Superman, whatever way you want to word that. And again, nice and baggy. You got the design right there in the chest. And a nice big pocket. So you do. And they look very comfy cosy. I'm not a major fan for over the head hoodies. But I can tell you these look cosy enough that I would wear them a lot. Yeah. 
And it's getting a lot colder, guys. Uh, yeah, we've it was been really getting... windy and raining, and God knows you just want a now baggy jumper just to get in. Yeah, and keep like you feel this. Cozy. I like this jumper, but it's not thick. As you can see, it's very thin. Mm. So you have to wear like t shirts underneath it. Not to say I wouldn't wear a strength top underneath that, I would, but this is not a comfy, cozy jumper. This is just an everyday jumper. These are comfy, cozy jumpers. But, um, yeah, I think that's everything. I think that's it, guys. Well, besides the Mountain Dew that's in my bag yeah. and the uh, water bottle and fish food. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was the pens you got me. I just noticed them behind, <laughs> behind the head. They're for my uh, deals. Deals is a little uh, uh, spoon and roller pen. Yeah, just because I like my bacon. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that's everything we got. We had a really good day. My legs are in bits. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> we did more walking than I thought we were going to. And we didn't, not that we didn't sit down as much as I would like, but, but I think that's the door. Is it? No. No. Go. Finish. Anyway, it was a really, really fun day. I liked the fact that we went out with my Uncle Shane. I would like to do, with my, do that again with him because it was really fun. But yeah, it was fun. Last minute trip. I liked it. So yeah, it was really good. And Graham enjoyed himself. And Shane enjoyed himself. He got the autograph. He really enjoyed the day and got a few bits for himself as well. And all in all, it was a very productive and great day. <laughs> but yeah, so hopefully you have enjoyed this little haul video. If you have, give it a big thumbs up. Share it with all your friends and family. Uh, click down below on the little bell icon to get notified every time we upload. Uh, click here to subscribe and click here for previous haul videos. And hopefully we'll we we sorry we'll get more of these style videos up real soon. And we'll see you in the next video real soon, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>